Good morning, you guys. Happy day five. I believe this will be you guys will be seeing this on Monday, I think. So yeah, happy day five of Vlogmas, you guys. I keep saying Vlogmas. I kept saying it, and I don't even think I'm I now that I'm thinking about it, y'all. I don't think I corrected it on the vlog yesterday. I was supposed to put like a title like I meant to say Vlogtober, but you guys know I meant to say Vlogtober. I kept saying Vlogmas though, like it was actually kind of funny, but Anyways, you guys, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys are enjoying vlog Vlogtober so far. If I say Vlogmas one more time, be so upset. I've never done Vlogtober before, but I need to get it right and get it together, you guys. But good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Sunday. We are, of course, at work. I'm actually in a resident room right now. I'm about to get her up and get her ready for breakfast. It's been a pretty chill day. Usually on the weekends, they do, I let my residents sleep in just a little bit longer because like, what's the rush? You know, it's pretty chill around here on the weekends. So yeah, you guys, um, that's it. We have a full house back here, memory care now. We have a couple new residents. So I'm gonna try to vlog for you guys as much as I can. Welcome back to another vlog. I think I got a couple clips yesterday how I'm kind of doing my vlogs, you guys. I'm doing like a combination of like two days at a time um, because I'm like ahead. So it works out that way. Plus it gives you guys a little bit more longer vlogs to see so they're not so short. But we'll just, you know, we're gonna, we're just gonna go as we go. I'm just gonna make sure I got clips and I'm gonna compile, to, compile, compile them. Oh my God, I can't talk together. <clears throat> Um, best way that it makes sense. So today is Monday, you guys. It's like 10.30 right now. And I'm heading to the store really quick, the corner store. I want to get some ginger ale. I did not feel good, y'all. As you guys can see, I probably hear I sound worse. Um, which, oh, I kind of knew it was going to happen. I ran out of that medicine. I didn't pick any up like yesterday, so I should have so that I couldn't take it today and be good, but y'all. And plus I worked the whole weekend too, so it was hard to like really rest. But I don't feel good, y'all, but I wanna get some stuff done. I don't want this to be a completely useless day. Like we got a lot of stuff to do, cleaning, decorating. I got unpacking to do. I got YouTube stuff to do. I got training to do for work. I need to clean my car out. I got stuff to do for the Forever Glam Shop. I got a lot to do guys, but obviously I'm not gonna be able to do everything today. I made a list and I'm like, no, you know what? We need to just do the couple things that we need to do. And I completely forgot that I had, remember that massage I got for my birthday, you guys? Today's the day they rescheduled it for because I put it on my next off day. So it's at three o'clock. Can y'all believe I was like, I'm not even gonna go, but I'm like, let me get up and try to get the day started so I can hopefully feel better. back home I showered well I took a bath first I showered put some clothes on um started kind of pre-cleaning a little bit but now man I made a grocery list so we're heading to Walmart I'm actually excited because I want to walk around today and look for a couple other things I need to get some vitamins I need to get some more medicine um so I want to look at the vitamins too because my mom sent me this um medicine she wants me to look at or not medicine a vitamin she wants me to start taking or that her and my sister have been taking or whatever <clears throat> and I'm all about vitamins like I used to be super duper into vitamins you know I have a little vitamin organizer but honestly you guys I've been doing horrible with them so I'm really trying to hope this will get me motivated because I'm one of them people like when I get a bunch of new stuff like I want to use it and stuff so I need to restock on some and um I definitely think I need them and that's why I'm sick so Especially working in healthcare, like I just want to make sure my immune system is everything that it can be, y'all. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about them starting to make this vaccine be mandatory. I've been seeing things on Instagram. I seen this RN. She posted her story yesterday um, on Instagram, and she was saying how she's been an RN for eight years, and how she just doesn't pretty much trust the research. She's not. She doesn't judge. She believes in medical freedom, pretty much but she's gonna be terminated at the end of September, or was terminated, I think, at the end of September because, you know, of the fact that she didn't wanna get the vaccine and she wanted to stand behind it. She wasn't willing to take the risk, which I understand because for me, 
I felt like I just have so many mixed feelings on COVID, you guys. I've been around COVID. I've never gotten COVID. You know, thank God throughout all of this. And I've literally taken care of COVID patients. I've been on the front lines and taking care of COVID patients. So that lets me know that the PPE, washing your hands properly, you know what I'm saying, doing what you're supposed to do. And with the proper equipment, obviously it works. Um, because I was getting tested twice a week for months. You guys remember when I was working as the administrative assistant. So anyways, I just have a lot of mixed feelings and I just feel like it's not enough research. Everything just changes. I just feel like the vaccine is not a, a done deal for me to want to get it either, but I've, it's coming down to the point of really for me making a decision because eventually I'm not going to have a choice working in, what, in healthcare where I'll have a choice, but it's going to be you know up to the facility that you work for and i just feel like that's the part that's scary like dang why we can't choose for ourselves tempted to buy there they have it in the adult size too all of it even the body scrub which i didn't know that they had this because what i need this but i didn't come for this on the list so i'm just browsing <laughs> to get it but they do have the pumpkin pie spice cream and zero sugar y'all just to let y'all know if you guys are on keto do you like it that much it was no for me though of course yep they even got it by coffee made too and pe peppermint mocha stuff like any um decor or anything but i did just browse clearance and stuff like that they didn't have too much but i did get some stuff we needed for the household as well as our groceries for the week so i'll show you guys all that stuff when we get home i got some quick to make for dinner tonight so yeah y'all i did decide to go ahead and just cancel my massage because i wasn't going to but i canceled it while i was in walmart because it's at it's in an hour and a half so it's not really the fact that I gotta go home and rush and then head back out. But the reason that I decided to cancel is because I'm like, I'm way too congested and sick to even go and enjoy my massage. I wanna really enjoy and utilize this massage. This was a birthday gift, you know what I'm saying? So I wanna make sure when I go, especially since I've already had to reschedule, um, it's so far out, no convenience of my own, by no fault of my own. I just wanna make sure I can enjoy it. Get that, get that. Guys, my babe fixed my ring light. You know, I was just telling you guys literally that on day one of October, my uh, ring light broke. But somehow, some way, y'all, my babe fixed it. Thank God for her. Get y'all one in her, cause if I would, if it would have been up to me, it would have just been over. I always got a new one. So, babe fixed it. So I'm so happy about that. So I got my ring light back. But we just got back from Walmart. So I'm gonna show you quickly the groceries first, and I'll show you guys the non-grocery stuff I got from Walmart, and then I'll show you guys what we got from Dollar Tree in the beauty supply store as well because it wouldn't be a vlog without a haul literally like my good sis unique says it would not be a vlog of mine if there's no haul in it so period i gotta keep up you know the expectations here okay, so starting with the drinks i picked up another one of these stick starbucks cold brew ones and this is just the black unsweet iced coffee i like this one a little bit better than the iced coffee i don't know why i just do plus i'm more of a cold person anyways and i'm gonna actually mix those with these which are these atkins iced coffee protein shakes i'm trying to eat really good this week get my protein in so i actually got these atkins is an all keto brand but i've never had anything from them before so this is the iced coffee protein shake and this is in vanilla latte and it's five grams of fiber, one gram of sugar, four net carbs, and 15 grams of protein. 
So, yeah, I thought that would be a good thing to mix with that. And then these are babe's drinks. I got her two-minute maid, some apple juice back there. I got a uh, thing of milk. I got some more of these lemon splash waters that are zero calorie. I picked up these King Hawaiian mini sub rolls. I think I'm going to do Philly cheesesteaks on these. I don't know. We'll see. This is what I picked up for dinner. Another one of these Zatarain's Black and Chicken Alfredo little pasta meals. These are really good. And the chick these cheese... Our mozzarella stuff um, breadsticks really good so that's going to be quick dinner tonight and then over here i picked up these great value seasoned sirloin philly steaks danny jtv recommends these she talks about these all the time so i got these for some philly cheese steaks this week i picked up some chicken thighs as well as some chicken drumsticks we got some more of these. I got these for babes. Some Ritz Bits cheese. These are so good, y'all. I got a taco kit for us. One thing of Velveeta macaroni and cheese for us. Some Flame of Hot Ruffles. Um, also, we're going to do like a date night sometime this week where we're going to make our own pizza. So I got a pizza crust. I got stuff for that pizza crust. Pizza sauce, shredded cheese, pepperoni. Um, yeah, I got a thing of crescent rolls. I got some Starbucks vanilla ground coffee this time because I didn't want to spend $15 on some K-Cups. I got three pounds of ground beef. I'm going to split that up. Got a thing of sour cream for tacos. We got four um, chicken pot pies. I think of honey wheat Sara Lee bread. Some eggs. I picked up these. We seen these on Facebook the other day and then I found them in person. These banana pudding vanilla wafer things. So we got these. I got that for me and babe. Babe loves vanilla pudding. So I mean vanilla vanilla pudding banana pudding so hopefully that'll be good i got some italian sweet cream for when i do hot coffee and and i also got babe some more work for um some more gum that she likes to chew at work and that's all the food stuff we got it was about a hundred dollars worth of groceries to last us for the next like week and a half or so you guys so really quickly i want to show you guys the non-food stuff i got from walmart so i got some vitamins um i did want to go in and grab some more stuff that we needed so i got a super b uh, vitamin or super vitamin b complex also got these 10,000 mcg biotins and some um uh, cranberry soft chews all that's for me and then i got babe these vitafusion multivitamin uh, women's multivitamins and these are in the gummy flavor the ones we got by this brand nature's truth these were gross we didn't like how these tasted um so we got these from burlington so we never we, we're not going to use those so i got her those and then also got this is the night quills honey guys that works so good it's called it has the honey and it literally tastes just like honey it tastes really good it doesn't taste like medicine i hate the taste of cough medicine and i think this just helps so good i don't know i just love it and then we needed um some more of these big razors so i got this big value pack this is the lotion that we use jergens the shea butter we needed another one so i got us a big one these are also the tampons we like the you buy kotex super plus we love those ones and i also picked up four of these candles they smelled so good so i got the almorado and blood orange i got um alpine forest which smells really good i was surprised i like the smell of that i hope it wasn't the sickness and then i got two of these farm fall house ones farmhouse ones i mean and these ones smell really good you guys and these were like three dollars a piece so i got those for the house and then also i'm gonna show you guys what we got from dollar tree all right you guys so i got babe some more of these flowers i got her those ones back there like um last week on her dad's birthday and i found these today she loves fake flowers so i'm like let me just go ahead and get her these so i got five of those from dollar tree and then a little vase all right so then i also got this little bin and i got this because i wanted to put all of our cleaning products underneath our kitchen sink sink in this so that when we're ready to go around the house to clean we can just go and get our little cleaning bin and I got three of these four by six black photo frames from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is the plug for um, photo frames. They're actually pretty good. I got these because Babe is starting, as you guys can see on that ledge up there, she wants to start like um, a photo thing. So I don't know if these are big enough. I hope they are or the same size. So I just got these to see how she would like them on there. I got some of these gallon six hefty slider bags to split up the ground beef we got another thing of these gain dryer sheets i got some more oxyclean um carpet freshener 
I got some cotton swabs, and then I also got this cute little jar. They had some cute different glass jars today, and this one just, I like this one because I never actually seen one with just a clear top like that, and it's like an acrylic top, and then the jar is glass. So I'm gonna put the cotton swabs in there and put that in the bathroom. And then I also got this um, Lysol toilet bowl. I got another vitamin organizer. This one, I just got it for a dollar. I had one on Amazon that I like, um, but I just got this because it was a buck, like I said. And it has the morning, noon, and night, and it has the seven days. I'll show you guys me kind of filling that up and what all I'm going to be taking. I got this little Sure Scent fresh linen candle for the bathroom. And then lastly, I got these Spa Naturals Aromatherapy Shower Fizzers. And this is in the Eucalyptus Experiment. And it's supposed to just be a tablet that you put in your shower that's going to supposed to fill it up with a blend of essential oils. And I think it will help me just with my breathing. And I was supposed to get the vapor ones because literally I was watching K-Love TV. Well, I was watching her story on Instagram and she showed the vapor ones because I think she's sick right now too. And by the actual, you know, Vicks brand and it looked so nice. And I was supposed to grab them, but I forgot at Walmart because I was getting too much other stuff. So... That's everything I got from Dollar Tree. The last place I went to was the beauty supply store. And I just got this um, Isoplus Dreads Lock and Twist Molding Cream. This is what Babe uses for her dreads, if you guys um, are ever curious. And then I also picked up some supplies to do my individual lashes, lash extensions. So I just got this INV Kiss Long Lasting Lash Adhesive, Individual Lash Adhesive. And then I picked up these triple black not free IMV lashes as well. Um, and I got a eyebrow tweezer and then I also got a nose ring. So that's everything that we got you guys today in all my different stores. So I'm going to just clean up, put everything up a little bit and get some stuff done around the house. Babe is on her way home from work. I'm about to start dinner um, and wait for her to get here. I can't wait to see her. So yeah, y'all. That's pretty much that. I think I showed you guys everything. If I forgot anything, I'll come back and we'll vlog when there's something else for you guys to see. Mm -hmm.